Call the city council meeting to order. Would you please rise and join me in saluting the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Council. Council Sullivan, I ask you to come forward in order to present the citation. Councils, uh, councilors and uh, members of the public that are here tonight, we have a very uh, important agenda tonight on the firefighters. But before we do that, we have some special guests here, Mr. President, tonight. Uh, we have the, uh, the actual players, uh, the boys under 19 Massachusetts State soccer champions are here tonight and their coaches. And uh, we, we actually have had the honor and privilege of seeing some of these young men two years ago. Coach Savignano came at that time. Uh, these are true champions in the city of champions. And uh, I know our, our uh, president, Mr. Cruz, who couldn't be here tonight, wanted to honor them. And this is a, a citation collectively from uh, all 11 members of the city council. And after I read the citation, I'm going to ask uh, Coach Rick Savignano to please come up, introduce the fellas, and say a few words. Uh, <clears throat> official citation, be it known that the Brockton City Council hereby extends its congratulations to the players on the U19 boys soccer team in recognition of winning the boys U19 Massachusetts State Soccer Championship and be it further known that the City Council hereby extends best wishes for continued success that this citation be duly signed by the President of the City Council and attested to in a copy thereof transmitted by the Clerk of the Council. It's offered by Timothy J. Cruz. It's attested by Anthony J. Zioli, Clerk of the City Council. And again, it's uh, joined collectively by all members of the Brockton City Council dated July 22nd of 2013. Coach Savignano, if you could please come up. Members of the Council, good evening. Thank you very much. Uh, for inviting us to be here tonight. I know you have a very busy night. Uh, it's a great night for so many of our firefighters in the city of Brockton, so I will be brief. Um, I will tell you that uh, I have the privilege of coaching the under-19 2013 state champion Brockton Bulldogs. Um, and that is not uh, an insignificant accomplishment for these young men. Uh, as you know, we were here a couple of years ago when they were under-18s. Uh, and uh, they were able to uh, repeat two years later uh, and we are honored and privileged to be here. We're <clears throat> profoundly grateful for the opportunity for this recognition. Um, I will keep my remarks very brief, but I will tell you that winning a state championship uh, is uh, something that's not easy. Uh, we have been playing together for 11 years. We've made the state tournament eight years. It's a bit like the NCAAs. You have to win your local tournament, uh, which we've done. Uh, and then you head out to Lancaster and you play the best cities, city programs in the, uh, in the state. And you play six games over a 48-hour period, and it really is a test of endurance. Uh, and on the uh, final day, when we were in the final four, we uh, defeated Springfield by a score of three to nothing in 90-degree heat out in Lancaster. We were pretty banged up. Uh, and then uh, two hours later, it was kickoff. We had to play Fall River, a team we're very familiar with through our high school years. Um, the score at the end of regulation was 0-0. By the way, we hadn't given up a goal all year, all during the tournament. After two overtimes, it was 0 0. It came down to penalty kicks. They got four, we got five. Uh, and uh, so it was a great night. I'd like to introduce the members of the team. Not everyone is here. They're 19 year olds now, they work. Uh, and uh, they all do work. But I want to mention everyone's name uh, and have them, as, they, as I read their name, just to come forward and please stand. I'm going to start, of course, uh, with my assistant coach. And uh, he's assistant coach only in name. He is my co coach on this team and my dear friend, Timothy Sonny Kelleher. I'm going to mention all the names of the players, even if they're not here, because they're deserving of our recognition. And as proud as we are of them for what they represent in this community and what they accomplished on the soccer field, I'm going to tell you what they're doing outside of soccer. Michael F. Lackpuy is not with us. He's entering his sophomore year at UMass Amherst, studying pre-med. Carlos Amado is here. He's a co-captain. He's attending Benjamin Franklin Institute, getting his degree in electrical engineering. Yvair Andre uh, returned on the eve of the tournament, much to our dismay, back to Cape Verde to visit some family members. He's not with us. 
He'll be attending UMass Dartmouth, uh, studying mathematics. Spencer Benoit is with us. He'll be entering the United States Marine Corps. And he's a co-captain as well. Co-captain Seamus Clifford is entering his sophomore year at UMass Amherst, studying business. Our newest member, who was not with us a couple years ago, Edmilson Dos Santos, he's our youngest player. He's got one more year to go at Brockton High School. <laughs> Co-captain Philip Douglas is entering his sophomore year uh, at UMass Boston studying biology. <laughs> Kyle Fairbairn is not with us. He's entering Massasoit. I, uh, Isaiah Gomes will be attending UMass Dartmouth studying political science and psychology. <laughs> Jeff Gomes is not with us. He's a sophomore at Bridgewater studying to become a teacher. <laughs> Arlindo Gonsalves will be attending UMass Boston studying business. <laughs> Matthew Joyce is attending Bridgewater State University as a sophomore uh, with plans to become an athletic trainer. <laughs> Christos Leopopoulos will be attending Florida State University studying business and sports management. <laughs> Van Jolie Lewis is attending Cambridge College and studying business. Joe Savignano will be attending the University of Kansas studying atmospheric science and communications. <laughs> Euron Tavares is entering his junior year at UMass Dartmouth, becoming a structural engineer. <laughs> Denzel Tello is, at, is going to be a sophomore at Dean College studying business. And Ruben Varela, who's not with us tonight, is a nursing student at Massasoit. <laughs> in youth soccer in Massachusetts, under 19 is the last year. And we all knew that going into this year. And not once did we use it as a motivational tool. Not once did we say we have to win because it's our last year. Not once did we say we have to win for coach because it's his last year after 21 years. We knew what we had to do. And this was an amazing group of young men. I've coached for 21 years, and this is the finest team that I have ever coached. Um, without boring you with the details, they dug in deep. Uh, they stuck together as a team, and they persevered during some adverse times. Um, and in the uh, celebration thereafter, every single one of them in their own way told me, Coach, we weren't going to lose this one this year. This was our last go-around. The city should be very, very proud of these young men. I am. They're all like sons to me. In actuality, there's 17 of them that are like sons to me. One's actually my son. Um, <laughs> but uh, I hope that you are as proud of them as I am. And I thank you very much for this honor. And we are very grateful for the recognition. Thank you. Judge, we, we want to thank you. We are proud of them. They're great representatives of the youth of the city. Uh, we're going to take a brief recess so the parents can take pictures, okay? Sure. But we'll
Back in session. Mr. President. Councilor Sullivan. I'd like to take a motion, uh, I'd like to make a motion to take numbers one, two, and three collectively. I'd also like to act on these tonight under the second, second rules. Motion has been made and seconded to take items one, two, and three collectively, and also a motion has been made to suspend the rules uh, and act upon these uh, appointments tonight. All those in favor? All those opposed? Uh, the uh, motion carries. Mr. Clerk, if you could read uh, each of the appointments and if the gentleman could please rise when the name is, written, uh, is read. Appointment of Charles L. Davis II to the rank of Deputy Fire Chief of the Brockton Fire Department. Appointment of Paul J. Wasaki to the rank of Fire Lieutenant in the Brockton Fire Department. The appointment of Daniel J. Foy to the rank of Fire Captain in the Brockton Fire Department. Question is on confirmation of the appointments by roll call vote. Would the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Apple. Yes. Wow. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eight in the affirmative. The appointments are confirmed. Mr. President. Councilor Sullivan. Can I make a motion to um, reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail? Second. Second. Motion has been made and properly second for reconsideration in the hopes that it does not prevail. All those in favor of reconsideration. All those opposed, reconsideration failed. Gentlemen, congratulations. <laughs> Take another brief recess.
Sure is. Back in session. Mr. Clerk, if you could read item number four. We have the report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of July 15, 2013. Set in place on file. Communication for the Mayor in compliance with Council Order number 118, dated March 11, 2013, and approved on March 31, 2013, Section 2-1. 186, paragraph 2, submitting that Caitlin E. Leach, currently assistant city solicitor, shall continue in such position for a three-year period in accordance with said section effective July 1, 2013. Set them please on file. Communication from the mayor appointing Karen A. Fisher to the position of assistant city solicitor. Second time, effective July 10, 2013. Tell this. Accept them please on file. <laughs> Communication from the fi uh, police chief requests an authorization to expend grant monies related to the fiscal 12 justice assistance grant in the amount of $88,790.40. There is no required uh, match for this grant. Set in place of file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Set in place of file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Set in place of file. <laughs> Communication from the police chief requests an authorization to expend grant monies related to the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Year 6, of the Local Action Research Partner Grant, any amount of $44,000. There is no required match for this grant. Set in place on Communication file. from the mayor recommending the same. Set in place on Communication file. from the CFO relative to the same. Set in place on file. Communication from the police chief requests an authorization to expend grant monies related to the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security Highway Safety Division Fiscal 2013 Traffic Enforcement Grant in the amount of $5,600 and an in-kind match of $1,400 is required. Set in place on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Set in place on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Set in place on file. We have a communication from the CFO in accordance with Section 5, Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, certifying proposed acceptance and expenditures of $10,000 from the Tony Hawk Foundation grant. Mr. As President. Amended. Set in place on file. Go right ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I got, I got. <clears throat> the appointment of Vernon LaRoche of 807 Pearl Street as constable in the city of Brockton for a term of three years in council May 28, 2013. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on uh, confirmation of the appointment by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Why? Yes. Ionary. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Staninsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eight in the affirmative. Uh, the uh, appointment is confirmed. The reappointment of John J. Marion of 45 Messina Drive, Brockton, to the Brockton Parking Authority for a five-year term in June 2018 and council June 24, 2013. Reading for the Standing Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Question is on confirmation of the reappointment by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Bois. Yes. Ionary. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eight in the affirmative. The reappointment is confirmed. Appropriation of $700,000 from the Mass Department of Public Health Bureau of Substance Abuse Services to the Mayor's Department of Massachusetts Opiate Abuse Prevention Collaborative Grant. This grant is to implement local policy, practice systems, environmental changes to prevent the use of <clears throat> prevent and reduce unintentional deaths and non-fatal hospital events associated with poisonings. In Council, May 28, 2013, reading for the Standing Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. The question is on adoption of the order by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Annapoli. Yes. Bois. Yes. Ionary. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Zedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. In the, the order is adopted. Order that the City Council accepts the grant of easement from the City of Brockton to Massachusetts Electric Company for installation, maintenance, operation, underground electric distribution system located within the easement area of, <clears throat> of the here and after described property owned by the City of Brockton, plot 45, map number 92, City of Brockton. Assessors maps also have a parcel ID number of 092-019 in Council June 24, 2013. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is adoption of the order by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. 
Why? Yes. Ionary. Yes. Eddie. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Kedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eight in the affirmative. Yours adopted. Resolved that the Mayor, DPW, Superintendent, Building Commission, and Park Commission come before the Finance Committee to discuss, outline the maintenance and upkeep protocols associated with the designated Veterans Memorial Park squares and our properties located within the Mr. city. Mr. President, Councilor Sullivan, before we vote on this, I want to. Let's let, let the clerk finish reading and then, okay? Greg, Mr. Clerk. In City Council, June 24, 2013. Councilor Sullivan, a motion to amend and was properly seconded. Motion carried by a hand vote. Referred to finance. The report is favorable. Councilor Sullivan. Mr. President, before we vote on this tonight, I want to publicly thank each and every one of the council members here that I proudly serve with. Now, this is a resolve that we collectively uh, heard last week. And I, I do want to say, and I don't say this often, the uh, Brockton Enterprise got it right tonight when they did this story. <laughs> and not because my ugly mug is there. <laughs> <laughs> the but because the, uh, the intent of the resolve and the, uh, the basis of the resolve was carefully and I would say properly defined in that article by Mr. True. And I think uh, what it shows, counselors and colleagues, is that through collaboration and discussion, we can get things done. So I'm hopeful that uh, what was discussed last week will be enacted timely. And I liked uh, Mr. President's uh, suggestion of the Beautification Committee, but I just wanted to publicly thank the enterprise for that. And I do think the citizens are uh, really going to appreciate what's going to happen as a result of this resolve. Thank you. Thank you, Council. The question is on adoption of the resolve by a roll call vote. <laughs> Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Wow. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eight in the affirmative. Resolve is adopted. Resolved that Mr. Carl Landerholm, as <coughs> president of the Brockton Historical Society, come before the Finance Committee to discuss the planned expansion enhancements of the Brockton Historical Society building located at 260 North Pearl Street, Brockton, Council, June 24, 2013. Ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption of the resolve by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. 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 Ioneary. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eight in the affirmative. The resolve is adopted. Order that the Brockton City Council, acting on behalf of the City of Brockton, does hereby accept the grant of permanent easement for water purposes from Mass Electric Company, a Massachusetts corporation with usual place of business, 40 Slavin Road, Waltham, Mass, extending from Lewiston Street to Portland Street, as described in the grant of easement and agreement. Referred to the Committee on Finance. Order that the City Council accepts a grant in the amount of $10,000 from the Tony Hawk Foundation for construction of a public nonprofit skate park <coughs> at Edgar's Playground, pursuant to the amended grant agreement attached here to, in substitution of the original grant agreement accepted and approved by order of the City Council dated May 3, 2013. Mr. President. Councilor Petty. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, this evening, I'd like to um, make the request. Uh, to hear the Senate suspension of the rules on behalf of uh, Councilor of Ward 2, Thomas Monaghan. Uh, the $10,000 grant from the Tony Hawk Foundation has been amended um, by the foundation and um, is a, a time-sensitive issue and if we could get, uh, get this passed tonight, it would, it, would, uh, it would allow the project to get started uh, that much sooner. And if anyone has any questions, uh, Mr. President, uh, Pam Gurley from the Planning Department is here to answer any questions. Thank you very much. I'd like to make a motion. Second. Pass motion has been made rules. and probably seconded to suspend the rules to act upon this in one reading. All those in favor? All those opposed? We will act upon it in one reading. Uh, Ms. Gurley is here. If anyone has any questions for her, anyone have any questions? You're off the hook. <laughs> <laughs> Question now is on adoption of the order by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Rofi. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. 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 Ionary. Yes. Teddy. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eat in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Mr. President. Council. Make a motion for reconsideration in hopes that it does not prevail. Second. Uh, motion is made and properly second for reconsideration in the hopes that it does not prevail. All those in favor of reconsideration. All those opposed. Reconsideration fails. Appropriation of $88,790.40 from Plymouth County District Attorney's Office, Fiscal 12 Justice Assistant Grant, to Brockton Police Fiscal 12 Justice Assistant Grant. These funds will be used to offset the cost of clinical social workers hired by the police department, 
grant fiscal management services, and those services of research and evaluator. In addition, funds will be set aside to purchase community police and supplies for events, police overtime, and funds for travel and training. For the Committee on Finance. Appropriation of $44,000 from the Commonwealth of Mass, Executive Office of Public Safety, Year 6, Local Action Research Grant, to Brockton Police, Year 6, Local Action Research Grant. These funds are used to help the Commonwealth evaluate the work being done by the communities with the Shannon Grants, which is the grant that funds youth and gang violence prevention, intervention, and suppression. There is no required match for this grant. For the Committee on Finance. Appropriation of $5,600 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Highway Safety Division, Fiscal 2013 Traffic Enforcement Grant, the City of Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 11 Traffic Enforcement Grant Fund, an in-kind match of $1,400 is required. For the Committee of Finance. Order that the Brockton City Council, acting on behalf of the City of Brockton, does hereby accept a patriotic tapestry for the War Memorial Building for Mark Bowie. President, Council Sullivan. I'd like to make a motion to um, act on the suspension of the rules on this. Also, if there's no objections, uh, great city employee Mr. Frank Cazero is here to explain. And I also think it would be appropriate to publicly thank Mr. Mark Bowie, again, a, a city employee for the building department for his gracious donation. Second. No objection, Mr. Second Cazero. Motion. motion made and probably second to act upon this in one reading. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? It is uh, the motion carries. Mr. Gazzaro, how are you tonight? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> this is heavy, so. Why don't you put him in front of the podium and this stand is by. A little bashful, so. Use the microphone, Mr. Gazzaro. Thanks. <laughs> All right, so uh, Mr. Bowie was a little bashful, so he didn't want to come up. And uh, his father had this. Um, I don't know much about it. It's from the bicentennial, as you can see, but uh, it's a nice plaque or tapestry, and we can certainly use it somewhere in the War Memorial Building. So we would like the city to accept it. And well, did you already? Uh, it's already accepted. <laughs> so it's I a know. wonderful tapestry. I like the uh, 1976. That's, that's the year that's both our of year. us graduated. So that's our year. So any questions for Mr. Gazzaro? Councilors can remain in their seats. No questions? That's where it's going. <laughs> it's going in the clerk's office? It's going in the Italian's office. <laughs> the Italian war veterans. Yeah, that's okay. where it's going. I think that's the only wall space I got, but any questions? It's a beautiful tapestry. Good. So, pretty Very nice. Nice. Any questions? Thank you. So the question is on, uh, is on the order, confirmation of the order by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll. Brophy. Yes. Yes. Quash. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Eddie. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Zidinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eden Affirmative. The order is adopted, and once again, we want to thank Mr. Bowie, who is also a faithful employee of the city, for donating the tapestry to the uh, to the War Memorial. I'm sure our veterans will appreciate it. Thank you again, Mr. Gazero. Is there any further business before this city? Mr. Council? President. Mr. Mr. Petty. Ask for a moment of personal privilege, please. Granted. Thank you very much, members of the council, those watching on cable. I just want to bring up a point that we're all concerned with in the city here uh, of City of Brockton is litter. It's a, it's a never ending battle to keep our city clean. In the last several months, I have been very, very aggravated with seeing these green bags all over the streets and sidewalks of our city. I've probably picked up over 200 of them alone, and I brought some with me tonight, and what it is, it's an advertising supplement for the Boston Globe. Well, the Boston Globe, please, have your contractors, whomever they are, whoever they work for, hit their target. These green bags are littering and making our city and clogging up the, the, uh, the uh, catch basins, and it's very unsightly. We do a lot of work to try to keep the city clean. So Boston Globe, please have your contractors deliver these to the property where they're going instead of throwing them out their car window and having them land wherever. Mr. President, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Councilor. We'll uh, get this information to the DPW the Commissioner so they can contact the Globe. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councilor. Any further business before the City Council? Seeing none, this meeting is adjourned.